Hi, this is Brad, and I wanted to take you on another behind-the-scenes tour of how we were able to work with Passion Conferences at their most recent Passion 2018 gathering here in Atlanta, as well as in Washington, D.C., and on the web. Uh, we've been actively involved with Passion Conferences, which is a collegiate ministry. They've been active for over 20 years, and for most of that, that 20 years, uh, we've been uh, working with them. In fact, at the very beginning of ProPresenter, um, here's one of the, the first gatherings, and it was actually a Passion Gathering when they were doing a, a collegiate tour around visiting college campuses uh, on, a, on a bus tour. Um, this is back in 1999, one of the very first versions of ProPresenter that was active, uh, and this was to raise awareness for Passion One Day, which there's yours truly uh, sitting in front of a couple computers at a field in Memphis, Tennessee, where we were actually projecting onto a large LED screen that was state-of-the-art at the time, but whenever we look at it now, I just think, gosh, that's really low res. But we've had the honor and privilege of actually being involved with Passion Conferences, and they've had a great influence on how we've developed our software over the last 20 years. And so I want to talk a little bit about the innovations that we've added to the software specifically for them. They're kind of a special customer so that they have the, they have the rights to actually ask us to do some special things. And we're honored to be able to, to add some special capabilities to the software. Now, last year, we added this capability in the software to add um, colored bars underneath the text. This makes the white text stand out. Uh, it allows us to have separate, uh, for individual lines, every line can have their own bar background. It's just kind of a unique look. Passion kind of has a history of kind of defining the look that a lot of houses of worship use throughout the year. And so that's kind of the thing that people are actually looking for. They'll watch the web stream and say, hey, how can we accomplish that at our church? So we added that capability specifically for them and then eventually made it into the public release version of our ProPresenter for Mac product. Uh, that's just, just kind of a, a hidden feature. This year they actually wanted to take that up a notch and they wanted to fill this instead of filling it with a solid color, they wanted to fill it with a, uh, an image just to make it add, to have more texture. Now, Passion 2018 took place in three different venues. There were two arenas here in the Atlanta area, and then there, were, there was a theater in the Washington, D.C. area. So you can see one of the images of the arenas, and uh, they were all linked together via a fiber network, so they were able to bi-directionally communicate the hosts from the individual venues. That's what this is actually showing here. You can see the hosts from Anthem uh, Theater in D.C., Phillips Arena, uh, Infinite Energy Center, and as well as our web feed and the host that was, that was uh, providing uh, services for the web feed. So they were all able to communicate with one another. So even though we're across a you know, many hundreds if not thousands of miles in the case of the web feed, uh, it allowed us to all kind of gather in a single uh, worship gathering at one time. So you can see that the, the screens in the arenas are actually unique. They're at this odd trapezoidal kind of shape, so it always makes it look like you're looking at it at, at, at a, a certain perspective. It's almost like a 3D kind of feeling when you're actually looking at these screens. Um, and in D.C., they kind of use the same kind of effect. This is, again, the theater that's in Washington, D.C., where they have this trapezoidal screen. So, given that we have these different video outputs, we use PVP3, our PVP3 software. This is its debut at a Passion Conference. We were actually outputting three different feeds because all of the video playback originated from Philips Arena, where I was the operator for PVP3. So, many videos we just got in a, sing in a single format, and we were able to provide aspect ratios and, and automatically format those videos appropriately to these different outputs for these irregularly shaped screens or for the web feed. And then oftentimes we would actually have videos that were produced that they were able to produce it in three different formats that were customized and optimized for those three different screen looks, in which case PDP3 could play those all simultaneously. But by it being able to, to, in a single application, play those three different videos in sync or reformat the same video different ways out of the same outputs, that, that lended a great deal of flexibility uh, that you were only able to get with the power of our PVP3 software. So PVP3 was an integral part with Passion 2018, and it was a great deal of uh, fun to be able to operate it in that capacity. Um, now, getting back to ProPresenter, um, with this irregularly shaped, you know, these trapezoidal type screens, I just want to talk a little bit more about that because it is so unique. Uh, they had live IMAG shots that were actually going on on these LEDs as well as uh, lower third scripture. We had different, again, video playback, animations, and that kind of thing. Now, these screens were hung somewhat low, so it created a, uh, from, from a staging standpoint, I loved it because it created sort of a low ceiling uh, to the stage, which kind of provides a feeling of intimacy. And in addition to that, we had some kinesis uh, lighting trussing uh, that would actually lower and whatnot, so we had a lot of 
um, flexibility with regards to, again, the ceiling that we had on the stage to provide that level of intimacy, even though you're in a gathering that's got you know, 20,000 or more college students. So it's very effective. Now, in order to actually make use of lyrics and the like on these different screens, um, you know, they wanted it to be visually something that people hadn't experienced very often. So sometimes you would actually have a mirrored image, and other times you'd show the same image on both of the screens, but clearly they were, they were cropped appropriately for those, those odd trapezoidal shapes. But in the case of the lyrics, uh, on the left screen they wanted all the lyrics to be right aligned, and on the right screen they wanted all the lyrics to be left aligned, and that would be the case for scripture verses and lower thirds of that nature as well. So the way that we did that is we added some enhancements to a uh, pro presenter that give us the ability uh, to have the same text appear different ways. So when I go into my pro presenter editor, this is kind of what it looks like. Basically what we've done here is we've got the left screen and the right screen. Well, any text that I actually type into the right screen text box would automatically be used as the source for the content that's in the left screen text box. So the right screen we had it left aligned, and on the, I'm sorry, on the right screen we had it left aligned, on the left screen we had it right aligned, and this is just a function that we added in the software to, uh, to enable text to, be a, to appear different ways or different, uh, in, in different places. And so with that functionality, coupled with the ability to actually add the, uh, the image as the background, again, to add a little bit more depth and texture to the image, um, it, it made for a very powerful look. Here we're actually looking at scripture, and I can actually show you uh, another step. Now, oftentimes, when if you're just dealing with one line of text, the left and right align was no problem. But because we had this odd angle, generally when you're dealing with a, a normal screen, you're dealing with perpendicular edges to the screen. Well, these were uh, at a diagonal because of the, the sort of the trapezoidal shape. And so one of our developers, who happens to be a volunteer uh, with Passion City Church, he went in and said, you know, what, what could we do to actually allow you to align at an angle? And so this is actually in the editor. I'm looking at uh, the template. So you can see this uh, left align, or I'm sorry, this left shape here, and then this green line here, uh, that's defining the right edge of our text box. So you can see that this, this text is wrapping at, at this angle uh, that, is, that is provided by the path that is indi in, uh, indicated by the green line here. And then when I look at the uh, at the left side, it is actually left aligned again against an odd angle. So we've angled the text boxes and they are actually um, left aligned to the path that's been defined in the ProPresenter editor here. So I don't know whether this is ever actually going to make it into a public release because again, it was a very uh, specific need that Passion had. But it's this kind of innovation that we like to be able to, these challenges that we like to be able to take on. And Passion's kind of a special customer, so we like to take care of them. So the effect of this was. Uh, very powerful, as you can see. Again, it's providing a, a unique visual experience uh, at a worship gathering. And of course, this would work in any kind of a gathering, but uh, it was a, a great experience for us to be a part of. And uh, several members of our team were actually involved with the production, as we have been through the years. Again, great honor and privilege to be a part of Passion and their innovative ideas for worship gatherings. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough and look forward to showing you some more behind the scenes of other productions that we've been a part of in the near future. So thanks for tuning in.